All right. Load up Asset Studio. On the top menu, click on File, then Load File. Navigate to the Game Folder Supermarket Simulator Data and select Shared Assets, Zero Assets. Now we just need to wait for Asset Studio to finish reading and loading the files properly. This may take a few minutes. Keep an eye on the green loading bar at the bottom left corner. I'll fast forward until it's ready. We can click on the plus to expand the list here. That's the scene hierarchy. This will be very handy later. But for now, let's switch to the asset list and filter the type to meshes. A quick click on the name tab to sort them by name makes it easier to find the item we are looking for. This time, it's the chocolate spread. As soon as you click on the name, you will see the model preview. If not, make sure it's the mesh type. Right click on it, and then click Go to Scene Hierarchy. This will take us back to the hierarchy list. Here we can see that Asset Studio automatically expanded the group that is assigned to the model. Check the first one in the group Honey Hone. And click on Model, then Export Selected Objects Split. Now choose a location where you want to export the model. With this method, you can export the model as an FBX file and keep all the textures and materials, well, most of them, intact. After that, it should automatically pop up the folder where you save the file. Open Blender, remove the default cube, and then import the FBX file by clicking on File, Import, FBX. As I mentioned earlier, the objects are very small. So, just zoom in until you can see the model clearly. In the top right corner, there are four different balls, also called viewport shading options. Here, we can change the view of the model and see how the materials affect our model. Keep it on the second last one, material shading. Let's switch our workspace to shading. Zoom in again until you see the model then click once on the model to highlight it. On the right side, there is a tab called Material. Click on that one. Now, we see under the materials three different materials. We want to pay attention to the glass material. Select that material, and we can see on the other half of the screen the nodes. They manage the material on the model and how they affect it. Obviously, glass should be transparent and not just white like in this case. Let's fix that. Scroll down a bit on the right side and go under Settings to Blend Mode. Choose Alpha Hashed from the options. Now, let's go up to Alpha and change the value on it. I like to set it around 0.2. And as you can see, we already have the glass transparent. If you don't like the level of transparency, you can still adjust the Alpha Channel or the Roughness value. Now let's set up the camera for the in-game icon. Press 7 on the numpad to switch to the top view. Click on the camera, zoom out a bit to locate it, and press G to bring it closer to the model. Press 3 on the numpad for the side view, then press G followed by Z, and now drag the camera down the Z axis until you have the model inside the camera con. Give a quick rotation with R and aim it up a bit. Press N to open the sidebar, or click on the panel here to open it up. Select the camera if it's deselected, and set the Y-axis rotation to zero under rotation. Now we're trying to get the camera closer to the object. We can do that by using different side views or by moving the camera with G, and then pressing Y, X, or Z to move along the respective axis. Use the numpad zero button to switch to the camera view. Press it again to toggle it on or off. Try to match the camera as closely as you can to get the view you prefer for your object. Before we can render this image, we need to set the transparency for our background. Click on the Output Properties tab, which is represented by a small printer icon. Under Output, you can choose 16 for color depth, but in our case, it doesn't really matter. Make sure RGBA is selected. The most important step is to ensure it's saved in the PNG file format. Go to Render Properties, represented by the digital camera icon. 
Go down to Film and expand it by clicking on the small arrow. Then, check Transparent to enable transparency for the background. Now we can render our image by pressing F12 or by going to the top menu, selecting Render, and then Render Image. The final step is to go to Image, then Save As, and choose the desired location to save the image. And here you have your object with the transparency. Happy modding the frag. I'm out.